Hey, this is Jake from Mito. I'm going to show you the new Mito Streamlit integration. So you might be used to using different types of tables in your Streamlit apps, but now you can actually use Mito as a component in your Streamlit app. Mito is a spreadsheet interface. So here we have a full spreadsheet inside of a Streamlit app right here. And in this version, as we interact with the spreadsheet, everything we do is going to generate the equivalent Python. So this is inside Streamlit. If I add a column here, and I'm going to rename this column to month. We can see that everything we're doing down here is generating code. And let's put a formula. We're going to use the actual month function, normal spreadsheet functions that you're used to using in something like Excel. If we pull those out here, we've now got this month pulled out of the date here. And now let's say we want to take um, this month and pivot this. So I want to look at the average trading volume for this stock price. Uh, per month. So I'm going to go to a pivot table. As my rows, I'll put month. As my value, I will put the volume. And then I would put the median here. But it looks like I need to change this to a integer first or, or float. There we go. And now let's make that pivot table again. And we'll do month. And we'll put the volume here. And so here we get, let's make that mean. Here we have the average trading volume per month um, for this Tesla stock data. And when I come down here, we get the code for all this. So everything we're doing is recorded. All the code is recorded. So it's a great way to give your users access to a interactive spreadsheet inside Streamlit, but also allow them to generate code as they, as they use that data. Let me go back to the GitHub file here just so you can see how this works. So we're importing Streamlit. We're also importing the Mito Sheet Streamlit package. Um, and then we're going to want to have the spreadsheet piece as well. We come down here and we use the spreadsheet function to call on the data that we want to use. And then we're using uh, sd.write and sd.code, which is what generates the uh, recorded code down here. If you don't have that, then the code won't appear. Let's look at some other Streamlit apps as well. Here's one where we're doing some data cleaning. And this one notably doesn't have the generated code. So it's giving me steps that I want to do to, to clean this data set and do some verification on it. So I want to rename this to issue date. I need to get rid of that. Here we go. And now it tells us the next thing to do is I want to make this issue date a date time. There we go. And now I want to filter out all the null values in this data set. So I'm going to come to the filter here and we will filter out to is not empty. Oops. And so now we've filtered out all the null values. Um, there's a lot more steps I can do in here, but you can see we can really do full spreadsheet work in, uh, in this component here. And finally, I'll come over to this last example where we're actually connected to a database here. So we're connected to this banking database. This is uh, some Snowflake data that we have. Um, on some different banks. And that information here is populating the spreadsheet, which is then um, dictating what is in these charts here. So we have total interest income by bank. We have estimated insurance deposits by bank. There's a bunch of things here. Um, and if I take these off, we'll see that the data, this is running a snow park query, as we can see. I just take a second. See so that the data adjusts and the charts do as well. I can also come into my Snowflake database here and decide what banks I want to use um, as I connect. Great. If you want to learn more about how to use Mito inside your Streamlit app, all you got to do is come to our documentation, come down to Mito for Streamlit, and you can see a bunch of things here. Installing, the API reference, app gallery on some different apps, but it's really easy to use. It's a fully functional spreadsheet inside of your Streamlit app. It's going to make working with data for your users uh, a lot more intuitive and, and a lot more, uh, more interesting for them. So I hope you check it out.